again Then I stop myself for a while Hi, my name's James Ferrara. Um, I wear number 17, play as a forward for Peterborough Phantoms. Hi, my name's Jason Bunkman, I'm the assistant coach for Peterborough Phantoms. Tom Norton, play for the Peterborough Phantoms in defence. Hi, I'm Ewan King and I'm the Peterborough Phantoms goalie coach. My name is Slava Kulikov, I'm a head coach of Peterborough Phantoms. <sighs> That's hard on the spot. I love ice hockey because it's like no other sport I've ever played before. Growing up I played football and basketball but the speed, the intensity, the bond that you make with your teammates, the supporters, it being enclosed, everybody's on top of you. It's exciting, it's different to other sports, it's a lot faster. On any given night, anything can happen. Um, there's a lot of physicality involved, which you do get with other sports, but I think it's, it's a little bit different with ice hockey because you can throw yourself at each other. Big bump there, good physical hockey. And, and obviously physical contact is part of the game, it's, it's part of the, the tactic of playing. Watkins lays a couple of well done. There's a lot of padding and equipment that um, I think sparks a lot of excitement um, when it all comes together on the ice on any given night with the atmosphere that you do get in the in the rinks and, and obviously it's an indoor sport it's, it's inside a building so the atmosphere gets good and um, obviously it makes it an exciting exciting feature to watch for fans um, what it means to me uh, it's been part of my life most of my life now um, I come from a hockey family my uh, father played, played hockey, my uncles played hockey, my cousins played hockey, so it's, it's really uh, in the family, um, so to speak. My dad played here for, for many, many years. Myself, I played for, for the Phantoms for, for a few years. I was lucky enough to, to win a treble here as a, as a player. Now, obviously, changing to a, the coaching position. Um, be my first trophy as a, as a coach, so for, for us to win here, especially being from Peterborough, uh, will be, be, be something special. Um, growing up I started playing ice hockey at six years old in Nottingham. My dream was always to be a ice hockey player to some sort of professional level. Um, for, me, for me now it's probably one of the most important things in my life. In the summer when I don't play, when the season's done, I kind of don't quite know what to do with my weekends. So um, being around the guys in the dressing room, playing twice a weekend, training twice a week, it's just become a focal point of my life. And um, yeah, I, I honestly couldn't describe describe to you like how it makes me feel. It's just yeah, it's just the best the, the best feeling being out on that ice. So I was getting to the cup final started off at the um, start of the season. Very simple. You have to play round robin, two home, two away against the other nine teams in the le in the league. Sorry, and at the end, the combined points will get you through to the top four. You had to finish in the top four of that then to advance into the semi-finals. We beat all over two legs in the semi-final, and we are just going into the final against Telford. Extremely proud to, to have made that cup final. We've played in a number of cup finals now recently. We've not always been on the winning side, but last season was a very successful season with us within, within three, three trophies. And we want to make sure that we, we keep that uh, success going for, for the club, for the team, for the fans. It's a huge, another huge opportunity for us in what is a different league and a league structure to last season and, and an even more competitive league. So it's a credit to you know the coaching and management team that we've been able to build on that success and all the guys in the room. Um, that we've managed to continue that through to this season. You know, we won three trophies last year. Um, we came very close to winning all five. I think the fact we still have that desire, that hunger to win trophies again this year and we've, we've pushed as hard as we have in this cup competition and now in the league as well, I think that just goes to show how important it is to the guys to just continue that winning mentality and you know push forward towards the end of the season. So Telford and us have been, uh, not rivals, but we've had a lot of really close matchups, um, probably going back four or five years. And quite a number of years ago now, they, they came into a little bit of money and they put out an extremely professional and a very, very skillful outfit uh, as a team. Um, Telford are a very, very uh, experienced, skillful team. Um, very, they've got a very good technical 
tactical coach in uh, Tom Watkins. So it's going to be a very, very difficult uh, fixture. Really good team, you know, very good uh, selection by Tom. Uh, Tom is a good coach. I worked with him at GB level U20 for a couple of years and I know he, he knows hockey, he understands hockey and he's passionate about it. Uh, so he selected the team accordingly and uh, they're well organized. They have uh, high-end skill, they have uh, role players, they have very good talented young British players and I think overall they're just well well balanced so uh, it's going to be a good good matchup. When we do play each other, the games are hugely competitive. They're the sort of team that, that fight for everything on the ice, that are really, really tough to play against, and their work ethic and their, their consistency, I guess, over, over seasons um, is, is one, of their biggest, one of their biggest strengths. And so that's something we, we, we're going to have to overcome. Uh, we're in a good run of form. We've got a lot of momentum behind us, and we're hoping that we carry that through and uh, we get, we get the, the win against them on home ice in the first leg to, to build into what should be a, a good then competitive second fixture away from home. It's easy to say if you look at the stats, pick your guys, but that's what this team is unpredictable. We, we have uh, guys who can score at the back, we have guys who uh, you know, in any line can score. I guess uh, one of the players would be Alice Padelik. You know, he's a veteran who turned 40 a couple of days ago, uh, but his pedigree is unbelievable. He played in Czech for Extra Liga for over 400 games, so he's probably the most uh, titled player in the league, he, or, or one of the most titled players, so he's dangerous any night. If you look across our lineup, though, on any given night, any of our forwards can, uh, can, produce, can produce some magical moments, and they have done over the course of the season. We're looking forward to more over the cup final. Uh, defensively, we've strengthened recently. We've got a real, real good depth, depth in defence, just like we do our forwards now. Uh, a lot of young guys coming through, so it makes us an exciting, ho uh, hopefully an exciting outfit to watch. So we have a, a team motto that's um, team, teammate, self. So um, the team comes above everything. I'd say that's what sets us apart from a lot of the teams in the league, that we all vie for one goal, which is to play for each other, battle hard and um, do the game plan that's set out each game because I think if we, if we tried to play as a bunch of individuals, we'd struggle, but the fact that we're such a tight-knit group and we, we work hard for each other and play together, that's why we've been so successful over the last few years. Our fan base is amazing. We have a lot of good fans um, here in Peterborough, a lot of local fans, a lot of loyal fans that have been around for many years, ever since the early days of, of Peterborough ice hockey. I think it'll mean a hell of a lot to them and, and it meant so much last year being able to win so, and be so successful and win the three trophies that we want to keep that going. We want to make sure that the fans get uh, success and exciting hockey games to watch here and us competing at the highest level and making sure that uh, everything's as competitive as possible because that breeds excitement and it makes the sport even more enjoyable for our fans. So um, we're hoping to do it for, for, for the fans and family at home. Uh, of course, they come and support us every game, no matter what. And the last couple of years, we've been very successful and we gave them a lot of joy. And we really hope that we can do it again. Uh, at the same time, we want them to be loud tonight. We want them to be a six man um, on the ice when things are get tough, because they will. It's two good teams playing. It's never going to be one way traffic. Uh, but uh, they've been tremendous and I hope they will be with us all the way. Regarding the sport, look, it's the fastest indoor sport in the world. You know, there is excitement every shift, uh, and um, it's it's something that takes you off your seat, and it takes a game or two to understand. You know, in the last couple of years, we had a huge increase with uh, kids uh, coming to the games, and they all love it. And in fact, they are the one who gra grabbing their parents every week and said, "I want to go back. I want to go back and and watch hockey." So, uh, as a coach. You know, I, I love this sport, so it's not much more I can say, but uh, I think uh, it's good for the fans, it's good for the players, and, and obviously if any of the kids want to play sport, it's better than being hung around the streets. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's football or hockey or anything else, but uh, the increase on numbers has been uh, going up throughout the country because of the coverages, you know, TVs, radios, yourselves, and uh, you know, we, we're going in the right direction, that's for sure.
and they go head to head over two legs. It's all about fine fucking margins today. You know, they are gonna be everywhere. And if you're willing to pay the price, if you're willing to get those margins, you're gonna go a long way. Let's get ready to go. Fighting saved by Brande already. And another two shots on goal. 22 seconds of the game. Great start for the Phantom. And shots on goal. And the Phantoms. Well, that should be. Well, I really thought that was going to be coming. It's a goal. Brafro goal. Phantom take the lead. The white towels are waving. And look at that smile on Alex Van Lake's face. Got to stop. Silver Thumb calls for its shot. It should be a goal, and he's. That seems to have been rocked and duly by the leveller from the Telford Tigers. Phantoms have it. There's a chance. There's a lane for a shot there. Oh! And it's a. It's a great finish. Ferrara goes upstairs. You would like guys to compete? That's probably the first thing you want to do in the big games. Like you just said, it's a big magnitude, so you have to be level-headed, you have to be mentally strong. Don't get carried away with uh, ups and downs because that's sport. And uh, the rest is down to them. They've been in three for four last year, and um, you know, winning three out of four gives you that mental strength to say that you can you know, play any big game and you got to play it as, as normal. Just like you say, compete level have to be higher. And uh, if they do that, I think it's 50-50 uh, who's going to win this time. Oh, my word. Two and uh, four Tigers back on turn. Jordan Marr, well, that's going to be in the goal. Marr can't get back. So the Phantoms open the period, leading 2-1. They close it, trailing 3-2. We're underway. The officials tonight, uh, good and several. Holds a man off, that's uh, interesting. Oh! Callum Bootless! Something out of nothing. Oh, but the space there. Shot. Uh, Weaver scores the go-ahead goal. Phantoms need to go to work again. Goal for the Tigers. The go-ahead goal is Howells down low. And uh, no, I do not believe it. It's a goal. Tigers five. Phantoms three. Goal! Brister and Brandon whistle and panic. Uh, McKenzie's taking Jordan Mars eyes. There's a goal. And uh, the final score then, there's the buzzer. Tigers six, Phantoms four. I think uh, when you play a uh, two-legged final and the aggregate obviously counts, if it's one goal either way, it means nothing. You know, you, we've seen in semi-final when uh, Telford overturned three goal deficit after the first leg and actually was four, uh, ten minutes into the th uh, first period at home. Um, you would like to have a lead, but wh when it comes down, you just have to play for only 20 minutes. You can go into the last period having two, three goal lead and anything can happen. That's why it's such an unpredictable sport. So the answer to your question, as much as possible if we can, but if we don't, we just have to play 120.